Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World Daily with me, John Jordan. So the news we're looking at today is Blanco's Block Party, um, and they are doing their biggest update ever on the 2nd of June. It's actually sort of a whole bunch of features coming in. It's actually a soft reset for some of the uh, game uh, kind of items as well. So it's a pretty big deal. Um, Blanco's Block Party has been in open beta since uh, November last year, November 2020. So it's been around for kind of seven, eight months. Um, so um, they're kind of gearing up <laughs> uh, to, to kind of um, go kind of formally live, I suppose. Um, so uh, here is the sort of uh, one one key element here. So it's effectively like a battle pass, they're calling it a party pass. You, you don't pay for it, um, as far as I can see anyway. This is just a way, basically, of encouraging you to come back and play um, every day, really, regularly, a regular retention mechanic. So there's da- there'll be daily, weekly, and seasonal challenges. And the more you play these, these, these will unlock um, these uh, in-game items. So we have these, uh, we obviously, obviously have kind of uh, accessories here. We have Moolah, which is the soft currency. We have Gumballs, which are a, a consumable item. We have XP chips. Um, we have uh, even uh, Bucks, which are the hard currency. And also um, there'll be a special Blancos as well, a special NFT. So this is just a way of basically coming back every, getting people to come back every day, rewarding them for doing that. Now, this is an interesting one here. So here we have a way of starting to customize your uh, the Blanco NFTs you own. So two things here. Um, so the first one is mixing. So mixing means you basically take a Blanco you have and you add this gumball, which you can uh, buy or, or earn here um, through, through the party pass. And then that customizes your Blanco. So um, you can uh, it basically kind of change the color palette, I guess. You're not changing the, the um, color pattern, but you're changing the color palette. Um, so there's that one. And then there is this mashing. So mashing. Um, is you take you take kind of the colors and the kind of design of one Blanco's and splice them into another Blanco's to create a new custom Blanco. So you, I think they're kind of showing it here. You're sort of taking, um, it's kind of like I, I'm guessing it's it's not really breeding, but it's sort of like you know it's a, it's a mash mashup, isn't it? So you're taking one you're taking one uh, Blanco's and you're sort of mashing. In this case, I guess they're mashing the the Boss Dino into into Mako. Um, so um, the Boss Dino will stay the same. And the uh, in this case, I, I'm guessing this is this one stays the same, and this one changes. Um, so uh, yeah, so so you're not actually breeding because you're not creating a new one. But basically, one stays the same that you're just taking that sort of DNA and 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 changing this one um, in terms of the uh, the the color palette. And uh, they're saying you can you can mix these things up so you can so you can do a get a mashup um, blanco and then stick a gumball on it, or mash up two mashups so you can just keep kind of kind of um, doing these things. I guess what's interesting about this is um, that the obviously the one you're the one you're kind of uh, mashing up, um, that's that's going to change over time to become something quite potentially quite, you know, exotic or weird. So this this would sort of uh, um, encourage people if they want to be doing that. And they also want to have some pristine ones um, to kind of buy a lot of particular Blancos that they like. So they've always got like a a, um, a kind of a, a reservoir of ones to kind of mash up. Um, so it says here, so mashups are irreversible, but you can preview, you can preview it. So you basically can see if you actually want to 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 do that sort of color scheme. Um, there, uh, there will be a cost. Doesn't say what the cost is. Um, maybe you'll do it in bucks. Doesn't look like they're saying that there's going to be they're going to do it in um, in uh, like an item, like a like a gumball. So um, so this is pretty interesting because now we can get customization and and um, I guess it's sort of an aesthetic rarity that there is sort of randomization. Um, quite how that plays out into the marketplace, not sure. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have skills, which is um, sort of, uh, I guess, moments sort of less interesting at the moment. So um, so there's a new class called styles. Each uh, season, there'll be a new style, um, which have new moves, perks, and uh, hidden perks. Um, and and uh, so there's that element. Um, so this is just a way of, again, sort of customizing, customizing the kind of utility of the Blanco's NFT in the, um, <clears throat> in the game. Uh, we also have this uh, grade up system, so uh, you can um, kind of grade using these XP chips. Uh, so you can go to fair, good, or excellent. I guess that's just another way of kind of um, increasing sort of scarcity um, and and having kind of uh, focusing people to to, to actually play <laughs> to, to play these and make them more valuable through play. Um, new tutorial. Um, the marketplace closed alpha will be going on the 7th of June. That's pretty important. Uh, marketplace is, uh, I think, the most important thing for blockchain games. Um, this is invite only, so invites haven't gone out yet. We don't know um, how that's going to work. 
Um, so, you know, <laughs> we'll see. Um, a lot, load of stuff's being reset. So none of the official, you know, uh, NFT stuff's being reset, but some of this, um, this Muller, this kind of in-game soft currency um, and, and, uh, and those sort of levels. So the Blanco's levels and the Blanco skill trees. Um, and also interesting that any Blanco you've unboxed will now get put back into its box as, as, as a sort of prime um, uh, kind of NFT, an untouched NFT. The idea is if you, if you have like a box, it's kind of maybe more valuable um, because you haven't started to, to um, uh, unlock the skill tree and, and that sort of stuff. So, so um, interesting. Uh, and if you have played any Blancos up to level 10 by the 1st of June, so a few days to go, um, you'll get one of these um, hot dog backpacks. Um, so that encourages people to be um, to, to be playing now. So so a pretty big update. Um, I guess the two interesting things are the 7th of June when the marketplace goes live, um, and I guess um, this this sort of mashup mashup mix up mashup sort of thing as well, um, because that is an interesting aesthetic option and also will play into um, I guess the way people are collecting uh, the the blancos um, because you are actually yeah, irreversibly with the, with the mashup at least you're irreversibly changing. The, um, the, the, the Blancos. So interesting to see how that plays out. Anyway, looking forward to that. Um, please subscribe uh, to the channel. I'll be certainly doing videos around that. So um, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this one and see you again soon.